Tomorrow I'm taking our five-year-old skiing for the first time, so I just needed to make this pair of skis shorter. They were almost as tall as the kid, and I really just need some beginner skis that uh, we can kind of put the little tip clips or edgy wedgies or whatever you call them at the nose to hold the uh, top of the skis together to make that pizza shape. And they just seem too long. So what well, I've done is I've taken a hacksaw. This is not very elegant. and uh, There's probably cleaner ways to do it, but take a kid skiing. It doesn't have to be professionally done really. As long as it's safe, you're good. So I took a hacksaw and I just hacked off the bottom. Uh, you know, there's like nine, 10 inches there off the back. And inside it's wood. I'll probably just throw a little, little bit of paint on there just so it doesn't soak up a bunch of water. Then all I did is I took the bindings off. Super easy. On the back of a binding there is this little uh, clip. If you pull up on it, you can slide the rear binding around. And either at the front of the position or the back, you can pop it right off. And what you are left with is these mounting plates. Uh, kind of sit like those were on there a second ago and these screws were holding them in four of them so I have taken those off just by using a ratcheting screwdriver impact driver super easy to get off there's only like five turns on these screws because they're so short so they came right out there wasn't any glue or anything you can glue these in but you know, if the kid wrecks really hard, it's not a horrible thing if these screws rip out of the ski. It's just added safety. Um, so I'm not going to be gluing these back. And all I've done is I've just kind of eyeballed center where I'm going to reposition these. And there's a lot of adjustability on bindings anyway. So getting this absolutely perfect for a kid's ski, this is not a high performance thing, right? So... Just kind of eyeball, get them in the center where you think they should be. And then mark a mark where the rear holes on the rear mounting plates are. And then what I did is I took a tape measure and I said the old rear hole, put the tape measure here on the old rear hole. And the new rear hole that I want is 4.75 inches further forward and then all I really have to do is draw a new hole basically take the tape measure for every hole and move every hole 4.75 inches forward and essentially you only have to do that really for one hole on the each plate and then the rest are a template anyway since you have no choice where those will be drilled so I just move each hole 4.75 inches further forward. Then I take a small drill bit that is smaller than the inner diameter. If you were to hold the drill bit up next to the screws and imagine that there were no threads on those screws, you want the screwdriver to be about the size of that middle shank of the screw, maybe a little bit smaller even. Then I just drilled into the ski about one quarter inch, which is approximately the depth of the threaded part of these. And now I'm just gonna screw them on and call it good. You can put a little bit of hot glue or some epoxy or PTEX or whatever you want in the old halls, but I'm not even going to do that. These skis only need to last maybe one season. And once the five-year-old knows how to ski next year, uh, probably upgrade to something else. So super easy, don't be afraid to tackle it. It's not rocket science and you can take it to a shop and you know pay 20 bucks or so if you want, but I just thought I'd do this myself. Make a pizza.